welcome to Percussion Axiom TV. I'm your host, Tom Burritt, and this is episode 36. Don't be too quick to judge. We're going to get to that axiom here in a little bit. But first, I thought we'd continue uh, as we did in episode 35 and read a few comments. Um, this comment uh, is actually from episode 34, I believe, from the Digital Monk. This was left on YouTube. Um, so I was want I've been wanting some feedback about the show in general, where we should go with it, if you guys like it, what you don't like. So I'm always open to that, and um, I would love to hear from you guys more about that. And so the Digital Monk got back to me with something that was good. Um, answer to the question is, the show is great. I've been spreading the word among serious percussionists, and that is amazing. So Digital Monk, <laughs> thank you so much, because this, this uh, internet environment that we're uh, sort of operating in is amazing when it comes to word of mouth. That's why Twitter and Facebook and all those social media sites are so important. And if this show really grows, like I think it will, it's going to be because of guys and people like you who are just really spreading the word. The power of word of mouth these days is just absolutely astronomical. So, Digital Monk, thank you so much for spreading the word about the show to your friends, your percussion friends especially. And that is um, something that I ask each of you guys to do that watch the show. It's the only, I don't really ask, for, okay, so I ask for comments, right? That's really important. I ask for comments, but I also ask that you spread the word because I really want this thing to grow and really move forward. So that's a nice little segue into our next interactive segment that we're working towards. Uh, for those of you who are catching the show now, uh, <clears throat> we just uh, not too long ago, a few, three or four episodes ago, got finished with learning a, a, a stout etude interactively. It was a lot of fun, and uh, we're going to look to do that again real soon. So keep giving me ideas on possible pieces that we could use. And any other suggestions you have for interactivity, I'm open for. Um, so let me know about those things. Okay, so on with today's axiom. Uh, don't be too quick to judge. I mentioned in episode 35 that I'm doing this concert with the Soli Chamber Group uh, in San Antonio on the 26th and 7th. You can go to tomspurt.com for more specific times and dates and where all that's happening. If you're in Texas, I'd love to see you there. Um, so this Michael Turkey piece we referenced last time, there's one more spot that I found really interesting and I totally misjudged. I just totally misjudged it. Um, this is a piece for uh, marimba, flute, and cello that I'm really, really looking forward to. It's been a real challenge for me. And one of the things that's challenging about it is the notation. Now, I'm going to leave a picture of this at thomasburrett.tumblr.com. Okay, and so look for it. I'll put episode 36 picture, and I think it'll really help you understand kind of what we're talking about here if you can have that picture in front of you. So if you're watching this on YouTube, go to thomasburrett.com, click on episodes, unless it's still on the Tumble blog, which is on the front page, and look at that picture because it's going to be really, really helpful as we move forward through this. Uh, anyway, Michael Torkey, who's a really great American composer, something someone that you know everyone should know about if you play percussion. He's written a percussion concerto, actually, that uh, Colin Curry, Curry, I think, commissioned. has been playing a lot. And uh, he's written a lot of chamber music that involves percussion, and especially marimba. I've played his marimba pieces before, a great piece called the Adjustable Wrench, uh, chamber, a chamber piece. Uh, he writes very well for the instrument, but there's some really awkward things here at, at nine. And I want you to look at, the, look at the picture that I posted. And, you know, there's some really weird notational stuff that you'll notice if you look at it. And it's really confusing to read. It's almost impossible to read. And at first, I was, it really kind of takes me off. Like, what the heck is this, right? Um, but then when I started looking at it, I, I started to see that the way he notated double stems, so stems both going up and down, was to indicate some sort of emphasis. And I'm sure there's other pieces that have that have done this, but I don't, I've never seen a rumba piece that actually does this. So if you really want to see what I'm talking about, make sure you check out the picture on my on, on the Tumble blog there at uh, thomasburritt.tumblr.com, and you'll see what I mean. But this is just one example. If you play it straight, you don't hear that there's two different lines going on. So here it is without, you know, just totally straight. And so on. You know, pretty straight up, nothing that interesting. But there's a main theme here that uh, he's using in, in the piece in general. Um, <clears throat> sorry. And if you play this the way I think he wants you to play it, then that's actually clear. And so this is what that sounds like. sort of filler notes and then there's melodic notes in there. As soon as I figured that out, I said, oh, that's kind of interesting, and I, but I totally misjudged it. 
So check that out in the picture. Um, there's one more spot that's even interesting, but he does it in a few rehearsal letters later. He does the same exact thing, but now they're moving at different, well, I don't know, if, not so much different speeds, but at different times. So at 11, which is also on that same picture, you hear this. Uh, so it's very awkward but it sounds like this attention to the accents if I don't even know what the theme is right I don't know how to bring that out and to make that happen so the nature of that is the lines cross makes this sticking very unusual and very awkward and challenged to play um, and the particular key he's writing in has C flats and, and F flats things that we're not used to seeing very often but um, it kind of really made me uncomfortable and kind of ticked me off a little bit at the beginning of that but once I really figured that out it's like oh this is really interesting so that's today's axiom don't be too quick to judge I think I know I've been guilty of that, and I see it with some of my students and some of the other experiences I've had over the years. And um, just because it's not marimba friendly, like this isn't necessarily marimba friendly, it doesn't lie very well. There's some really interesting things going on though musically that I think far outweigh the challenges that they may present. So that's today's axiom. Uh, don't be too quick to judge. So I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you got something from that. Um, it's great when I can make the show just, you know, kind of what I've been doing every day and what I've been working on right in the trenches, kind of show you guys kind of what's, what, what, I, what I'm doing here. So anyway, that's some, sort of the things I'm thinking about. So today's quote or question of the episode is um, confession time. Since I'm confessing to you that I often make this mistake, I want to know when you did. So when was the last time you misjudged something? And, and then, you know, you can also think about like all the opportunities you could miss from not really working on something for a while and trying to figure it out and trying to figure out what's really happening. Sometimes it is kind of silly and not important, but... There, then there's times like this where it's like, oh, I see what's going on here. And uh, I, I, I mean, I can't really think of another piece that this is, that this is, you know, that is like this. And that's kind of interesting to me. And something that great composers do, like Michael Torkey. So anyway, when was the last time you misjudged something? Please leave a comment. Interactivity is what it's all about. Give me some good suggestions. Keep giving me good suggestions on what we can learn interactively coming up. Next two, three weeks ago, we will get that started. And that's today's episode. Thank you so much.